JN0-102 exam has been ended on March 29, 2020. New JNCIA, Juno's JN0-103 exam has been released. Today, we have released new JN0-103 exam dumps to help you prepare for Juniper Network Certified Associate Certification Exam, good and valid JN0-103 exam dumps questions ensure that you can prepare for new JNCIA, Juno's exam well. Question number one. Which two features are implemented on the packet forwarding engine? Choose two. A. Firewall filters. B. Chassis management. C. Class of service. D. Routing protocol updates. Answer, A. C. Question number two. Which parameter of the monitor traffic command should be used with caution when considering storage space on a Juno's device? A. Write file. B. Layer 2 headers. C. Extensive. D. Detail. Answer, A. Question number 3. What are two benefits realized by the disaggregated Juno's OS? Choose two. A. There is increased flexibility to use different control plane versions. B. The Juno's VM becomes hardware independent and can be deployed on any hypervisor without modification. C. The architecture facilitates programmability through provisioning the control plane, the data path, and the platform APIs. D. The platform drivers and forwarding engine are removed from the control plane to increase performance. Answer, B. C. Question number 4. You are connected to your Juno's device using an SSH connection to the FXP0 interface. No other interfaces are currently configured beyond their default settings. You commit a configuration that makes the FXP0 interface unreachable from your management network. In this scenario, how would you re-establish communication with the device? A. Connect to the console of the device. B. Establish an SSH connection to the loopback interface. C. Power off and power on the device. D. Unplug the network cable and plug it back in. Answer, A. Question number 5. When multiple users are editing the configuration on a Juno's device, what is the default behavior when a user issues a commit command? A. All valid configuration changes made by all users will take effect. B. The user's configuration changes are committed, other users' configuration changes are still pending. C. The user will receive an error message disallowing a commit of the configuration. D. The user's configuration changes are committed, other users will be exited from configuration mode. Answer, A. Question number 6. Routing policies contain which two types of statements? Choose two. A. Then. B. From. C. Default. D. And. Answer, A. B.
Question number 7. Which two statements are true about static roots in the Juno's OS? Choose two. A. Static roots remain in the routing table until you remove them or until they become inactive. B. Static roots must have a next hop defined. C. Static roots are learned by neighboring devices and added to their routing tables. D. Static roots are defined at the edit routing instances hierarchy. Answer A B. Question number 8. You are considering an upgrade from 19.1 R1 and want to ensure that only bug fixes are included. Which two software versions should you consider in this situation? Choose two. A. 19.3 R1-S1 B. 19.3 R2 C. 19.1 R3 D. 19.1 R1-S2 Answer, A. C. Question number 9. Which command verifies configuration syntax without applying the changes? A. Commit confirmed B. Commit check C. Commit comment D. Commit and quit Answer, B. Question number 10. Which two commands would you use to reset the candidate configuration to the active configuration? Choose two. A. Rollback 0 B. Rollback 2 C. Rollback 1 D. Rollback Answer, A. D.